We are making chicken vegetable pot pie with puff pastry crust. There's the picture. Yeah, this one's got bacon in it. We're not doing it with bacon though. <laughs> okay, so the way, um, we've got a lot of different ingredients. We've got um, flat leaf parsley. We have, this is some garlic. Um, we've got some thyme here, puff pastry sheets, carrots, all-purpose flour, uh, six tablespoons of butter. I said butt. <laughs> um, diced button mushrooms. We do have some frozen pearl onions, petite red, whoops, petite red potatoes. <laughs> And uh, we have some low sodium chicken broth, chicken thighs, boneless, skinless. Um, and then we've got a bulb of fennel here. I didn't know this is what fennel looked like, so that's kind of Looks cool. pretty crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, but you just, apparently you just, whoa. Well, Uh-oh. Apparently you just use the bottom. Why did so. they sell me all that stuff then? I don't know. I think you could probably use this for something, but not what we're using it for. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not using it. You know what's really funny too is that when Tim went grocery shopping, he found that um, we actually spent probably fifty dollars less on this um, this kind of food rather yeah. than getting like all of the pre-prepared stuff. I really hate this burner, just so you guys know. Oh, the dual. Because it's like either a little burner or a big burner, but I feel like I don't think it really cooks the same. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so it's on a medium high heat. And then I have to cut up this, oh no, I'm not doing anything in order because now I have to cut up the fennel. You're okay, we got plenty of time right now. Okay. Chopping fennel I. I will tell you this, chopping fennel makes you feel like a real man. Oh, it stinks. Mm. You smell it? Yeah, it's kind of like lemony. I don't think I've ever really had fennel. I've had sausage. What do I, whoa, what do I do? Do I break all this off? I don't understand. I would just, what is it, what does it call it for? Cut uh, one Medium half of Medium dice, them? yeah. Oh. Yeah, I just cut it in half. Oh my gosh, okay. That's a half of so one? So this is trash then? Yeah, just put it in the sink. Oh my gosh, it kind of looks like dill. Yeah, it does. They had dill at the grocery market. Add in our fennel. Oh, perfect. And our carrots, right? Uh-huh. What is that in there? What? Oh, that's the pieces of the, the fennel, like, top topping. Okay, now what? Stir it until browned in spots, about two minutes. Now we'll put in the chicken thighs, skinless and boneless chicken thighs. We should probably use thongs. Use them thongs, girl. I mean thongs. Ow. Sorry. I'm... <laughs> they all go in the pool. Yeah, swimming chickens. After we took out our carrots and fennel, our pan goes back on there. We added a little bit of olive oil because we're supposed to do bacon, then carrots, then fennel but or then carrots and fennel but we didn't do the bacon so we're just doing add a little bit more olive oil so that we can actually cook the next item which i think is the uh mushrooms and the artichoke mm -hmm. all right mushrooms go in the, oh hey yeah yeah all right party time now look at that separate in and out the uh what's that stuff called artichoke party yeah and then she's gonna do up some uh some garlic. Well, and we just went ahead and used the marinated ar um, artichoke hearts. I I think they're supposed to be frozen according to this recipe, but oh, we, oh. are you gonna are you yeah, okay? No, I'm okay. Getting burnt. okay. But we do what we want, right? Yeah, exactly. Such precision. Are you <laughs> your way yet? No, you're good. Yeah, dump it in there. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. That's the garlic and artichoke part. All right. Yeah. And then we brown these guys up. It's brown and party time. So far, artichokes, garlic, uh, mushrooms, carrots, and fennel are done. Chicken's still going, so I got three minutes left or so. And then we're going to put the butter and the flour in here to make like a roux. I don't know what a roux is, but Jen just used that word, so I want to sound culinary. Eat your heart out, Paula Dean. This was supposed to be healthy. Until that <laughs> butter went in. Look at all that butter. Oh no. It'll be okay. A lot of it'll burn off. Alright. That is a lot of butter. My butter's melted. Jen has cooked up or cut up some, uh, what are those things? Like herbs over there. So yeah. now I'll. Add the flour and cook. So you'll have to, I guess, 
I wish I had one of those things. The sifter? I think we'll be okay. Okay. While Tim is dicing up this chicken so we can add it to the vegetable mixture and then put the roux in it, I am cutting up the pastry squares. And what we bought was just the Pepperidge um, Farm Puff Pastry Sheets, they look like this. They're kind of like all folded up. And then you unroll them, and they are, um, I don't know if this is exactly the right size or not, but it looks about right. And so then you take an egg and you whisk that, and what I don't have a brush to brush it on, so I'm just gonna use a paper towel and kind of like dab it on that way, I hope it works. These are gonna go into the oven. We've set it to 400. The rack goes right in the middle. And uh, 10 minutes. Now the chicken is gonna go into the bowl with the uh, vegetable mixture. And we're gonna add the parsley and the thyme. And no, no sage. I'm gonna add in the um, flat leaf parsley and the thyme to the chicken and vegetable mixture. Two and a half cups of the, um, the broth that was simmering down. I think we just made uh, gravy, somehow, magically. It is par-baked. We forgot to cook the onions, so we're cooking them up really quick. It was just, they just needed to fry up and brown just a little teeny tiny bit. So we're doing it real quick while this is still thickening. Look at how thick it is now, though. It looks good, right? It looks kind of like pudding. After we add all the ingredients together. This is a, a pot pie mixture, by the way. In case you guys didn't know, look at how yummy that looks. Yeah, so and then he's going to spoon it into this two-quart pan. This is a mixture of the button mushrooms, fennel bulb, uh, parsley, thyme, uh, what else, carrots. We've got that roux that we made, that kind of gravy. There's also the onion that we forgot. <laughs> and then what we will do is then place these par-baked puff pastries right on top and then put them right back in the oven at 400 for another 15 minutes and we will have a chicken pot pie like thing it's just it has less carbs so it's a little bit more healthy but that should be pretty delicious right before it goes into the oven that's what it looks like and it's going to be so tasty i think i cut the puff pastries a little bit big though because they don't really fit in the Heck pan yeah but what it's supposed to do is the the mixture should bubble around the outside and then you know that it's cooked but i think after 15 minutes we should be good it's gonna be so delicious here's the end result i'm gonna let it sit for a second just so it maybe um thickens just a little bit and tim is over there doing his insanity workout look how skinny he is he's really skinny I'm going to fatten you up with this chicken and gravy. <laughs> Thumbs it up if you think Tim looks damn good. I do. I'm going to give it two thumbs. The other one is behind the camera. Two thumbs up. Check it out. Bandit, get down. What the heck? Where did that come from? What is he doing that for? I don't know. Why are you scared right now? Because you yelled at him. No, he's like scared of lightning or something. There's no thunder. I thought I heard Thunder. No thunder. I thought I heard it. Me, I I thought I heard it and Bandit. Two against you. You okay, buddy? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try. Did you hear that? That sounded like a fart. All I hear is the we. Listen. Okay, I believe you. Okay, did you really hear it though? Don't just don't just agree with me just because you're like trying to shut me up. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Okay. It was stressful to make, though. I'm not going to lie. We had a stressful time making this dish. But yeah. with two people, it's fairly easy, though. Oh, my gosh. So tired. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.